everyone, Ronica Cleary here. I am chasing Governor Christie across the state and beyond. Well, we've got a bombshell for you in the Bridgegate scandal. It's been reported that former Port Authority executive and former Governor Christie ally David Wildstein will plead guilty. Now, the charges, they're unknown, but I was here at the press conference today where I got the first reaction from Governor Christie. Now, it should be noted through this entire press conference, there were protesters in regards to Governor Christie sending the New Jersey State Police down to Baltimore. Uh, Governor, it's been reported that David Wildstein is going to plead guilty. Guilty. I'm sorry. It's been reported that David Wildstein will plead guilty tomorrow. The charges are not specific, but it's in reference to Bridgegate. Do you feel that this is the beginning of the end of this for you or a new beginning of kind of your name getting dragged through it all? Yeah, well, listen, you know, I don't know exactly what's going to be done. Um, I just was told about the report that you're referring to on my way downstairs. And so... I couldn't tell you, and we'll react when I have an opportunity to react. But I, again, I don't think that has anything much to do with me. And while the governor said this doesn't have anything to do with him, perhaps it does. We spoke with Matt Rooney of the Save Jersey blog to tell us why. If your governor Christie is getting ready to launch a presidential campaign in the next couple months, you know, the last thing you want is some of your former close associates getting indicted. The fact that he said he may not announce till June may have been in anticipation of this. He thinks he's innocent, but he wants to get this ugly business behind him before he reintroduces himself to the American people. Now to the protests about Baltimore. Those protesters were continuously shouting Black Lives Matter. I wanted to know what is the cost to the state of New Jersey to send state troopers down to Baltimore? Nothing. It's of no cost to New Jersey taxpayers. Maryland picks up the cost. Thank you. For all of my updates, Chasing Down the Governor, you can follow me on Twitter at Chasing Ronica.